Good evening, everyone. For video tutorial number 11 on the Siva King technique, I thought I'd share with you a little analogy to help you understand better the word balance, what it really means when we're balancing our full weight in the keys. So I'll go to the keyboard and show you what I mean. If you think of a dome or like a huge rock and another rock balanced on it, that one balanced on it is your full body weight and your relaxed arm that's flopping to the floor. It's balanced on that single point. So if you thought of the surface of the key when it's depressed as the top of Mount Everest, a peak, that's like that bottom rock and that's where you're going to balance your weight, the big rock on top, on it. So you've got to sink in and balance on it and then you'll know that you've got your, the strength of the finger. Think of it like an elastic band, a thick elastic band that's going to draw that weight into a, the center of gravity into a balanced position on that key and get somebody to pull your elbow out, make sure it falls back or flop down. But feel balanced. You've got to feel that the, that, that the strength of that rubber band, the finger, not a stiff wrist, not a stiff hand, draws the weight into that balanced position on the top of Mount Everest, on that peak. Now, you want to go over to the next Mount Everest, so you want to crawl over to it and drop in it. So you need to be able to have the elastic band strong left, right, as well as, as the uh, forward back toward the back of the piano. It's got to be able to draw you up the keyboard or down the keyboard. So if you're here, you crawl to that one. That's the quick action of the finger, and the finger has to be firm because these muscles and these work against each other as an antagonistic pair, and they make that finger firm that it can support the natural with your arm. So it's the finger has a lot of jobs to do. It's, it draws you into the balance this way toward the back of the piano, and then it draws you laterally, like the elastic band pulling you the center of gravity that you found in the bottom of that key, it's drawing you over to the next one, and the next. So the fingers lead, and the body follows. I hope that explanation clarifies the idea of balancing the full weight of your arm on the tip of the finger, you know, with knuckles slightly raised, and wrist slightly dropped, but movable, and limpid, so that the tone isn't hard. It's warm, and you have to project that to the listener. Whatever you play, whether it's Chopin, anything romantic, anything, you want a good tone. Even if it's a huge chord, you don't want an ugly sound. You want a, a warm tone that carries, unless you're playing something like Prokofiev or something that's a harsher sound. But, but you, want, you never want to make noise. You want to make a wave. When the hammer comes up into the wire, you want to make a wave out of it that transfers through the bridge to the sounding board, and that, tr that vibration transfers to the listener's ear warmly from your heart to theirs. So be able to, even if you just take one finger and do it, but then you've got to get that idea of the rope or the, of the rubber band pulling you to the next. It's your center of gravity that is shifting it over to the right if you're going up or down to the left if you're going down. You want to be able to control the speed the keys goes down and make a beautiful sound. So it's got to be a weight touch. So I hope those ideas help you. Have a good night. Thank you.